that's the kind of a performance we, we were hoping to get out of Billingsley. And you know, it's only a second start after the rehab, so we're real happy with that. He could have probably gone back out, but I didn't want anything to spoil a positive outing for him. And we, we wanted to go to our formula with the 7 8 9, and it worked out really nice. Uh, yeah. He probably felt comfortable here, and he, 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 threw, he threw some of those slow curve balls that were nice to see, you know, change the speed because. He has a tendency to get into that into everything hard that routine, but uh, he mixed it up real well, and he got he hung a change up to Grandall, and that, that, that's the only pitch that really hurt him. He had better command of his pitches, you know. He he's got the stuff to, to do what he did tonight. Uh, two things that he commanded his pitches much better, and he uh, changed speeds better. And I think those were the key ingredients to his. his good, you know, because that's a tough lineup. All the way through down the, down through the ninth hole, and uh, uh, I think those two aspects of his, his performance were what created the, you know the, 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 as well as he pitched uh, for us. And, uh, I tell you what set set the tone for at least a good feeling going into that game was Brown's two as assists. Uh, that was, uh, was huge. Uh, the wins a win, and we'll take it and try to build on that. You know the guys have been swinging the bat well lately, and it's nice to see everybody uh, uh, contribute uh, to a certain degree. I was happy to see Brown get a hit. You know, I let him swing on a 3-0 pitch to see if he can get something good to hit. And, uh, it was nice to see him with the two assists and that base hit. You know, he needs a little confidence booster and uh, to get him going, and I think it's going to help him.